guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a fat minute since I have posted. As you can see, the background is a little different. Um, I moved again. I am finally filming and posting again, so thank you guys so much for waiting. Now that it's like getting a little colder again, I'm like wanting to do like pink cold makeup. <laughs> So, pink makeup era is back, so yeah, this is the makeup look basically. In the move, I lost all my contacts, so I actually filmed this makeup look blind and I actually can't see right now either. So hopefully, when I'm editing this, it, it looks good because I cannot tell. But yeah, um, if you guys want to know how to do this makeup look, just keep watching. Hey guys, so I've done my base as usual just with a matte foundation, but I haven't like set anything yet. So before I start setting my makeup, I'm gonna go in and use a cream blush. This is the Flea blush and it's in the color without. And I'm using this as a base for my blush. So I'm just taking my finger and just patting it right here right under my eye and using a different finger to blend everything out. And I'm doing this before I set my foundation because I don't want the cream blush to start like separating with the powder. And I'm also going to apply it a little bit on my nose and then my brow bone. Now that that is done, I'm going to set my face and I'm actually going to use multiple different powders for this look. First, I'm going to be using a pink powder for my under eyes. Just pat off the excess on my hand and I'm using a triangle sponge to go right under my eye. And this just really helps brighten your under eyes. And then using a small powder brush, I'm going to go in with the NARS Interstellar Powder off the excess again and I'm going to put it on the points that I want to kind of highlight so kind of my cheekbones, the middle of my forehead and also just the tip of my cheek, my chin and my nose. Now for the rest of my face I'm just taking a different powder brush and just regular translucent powder and when applying powder with the brush you really just want to kind of Tap and roll it so that you're not taking off your foundation. You just work with small amounts of product and really just take your time. Now I'm taking a bullet brush and this very light blush color. It's like a very light pink so I'm just using it to highlight and I'm gonna pat off the excess and just put it right here in my dark circle line just to brighten up that area. I'm also just going to use it kind of as a nose highlighter. So for my eye makeup, I'm going to be using the Clio Atelier in Henna palette. And I'm taking this light pink color and I'm going to apply it as a base. Just so it helps the other colors stand out more. Now that we have the base applied, I'm going to be using this kind of pinky mauvey color and I'm applying it to my under eyes and I'm also using it just as a shadow color using the same brush I'm going to take a bit of a darker pink and I'm going to use a very tiny bit of it and apply it to my under eyes This kind of taupey gray. I'm going to be drawing my egg hair, so I just start under and just blend it out. Also, just blend it upwards a little from your egg hair line. Now, using a flatter brush, I'm going to take that very bright blush color, and put it in the front of my egg hair to brighten it up and then also in the middle I'm using the same pink color from earlier I'm just gonna blend upwards from the corner of my eye now I'm gonna be using this brown color and I'm just going to be 
drawing kind of like shading in this area right here. And I'm also going to blend that into the top of my eyelid, kind of making like that type of shade. It's not being as dark as I want, so I'm going to mix in a bit of that bottom brown color. just like an outline and I'm gonna bring that line kind of up to the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna use this glitter color and I'm just patting it into my finger and then patting it into the middle of my lid. I'm gonna take my curler, heating it up a little bit and I'm curling my lashes first, curling it like towards the inner corner. Just curling it up as you regularly would. This just helps like organize and clean up your lashes, like the way that the way that they are facing. And because I have like really stubborn lashes, I'm gonna apply the Dr. Mascara Fixer. And I'm gonna curl my lashes upwards again. I'm gonna be using the Adidas Curl Fix Mascara. And I'm just starting at the tip of my lashes and then working my way into the base. And now I'm gonna to use tweezers and like the tip of my mascara wand to put together and organize my lashes. heat up the toothpick and just use it to clean up my lashes and just make sure that curl is holding. So for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the Nude Mascara and this is in the color Mute Brown. It's this really thin mascara wand so it's really nice to use on your bottom lashes. I just go down this way. tip and just like go back and forth and this kind of just like clumps up your bottom lashes like in a pretty way and I'm gonna take the toothpick again and just heat it up and curl the lashes downwards for my eyeliner I'm gonna take the hero I make smooth liquid liner and this is the color black. First I'm gonna fill in like my lash line and then I'm just drawing my eyeliner downwards and out. And then for my brows, I'm going to be using the Roman brow pencil. Just kind of naturally follow my brow shape. Fill it in lightly. And then I'm gonna use the Roman Brow Mascara. And I am just lightly lightening my brows. Now I'm gonna take this type of brush in the Roman Blush in Blueberry Chip and I'm just gonna very lightly apply it over where we first applied our blush. Percent lip pencil in oat. And then I am taking a rose color and going over that line. I'm going to be taking 
feeling that we like putting pot again and I'm applying it all over my lips from the middle outwards just blending it out with my finger and then I'm taking the red free pudding pot this is the color mule I'm taking a very tiny bit of it and putting it in the middle of my lips just to like give it more color in any brown color. I'm just gonna lift my lip corners. For my highlighter, I'm actually gonna be using two colors. First, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Highlighter in Ambient. And I'm using just like my finger. And I'm gonna pat it into my cheek area. And this just gives like a really natural take a really small like bullet brush and I'm using the Cleo Prism Air Highlighter in Fairy Pink and I'm going to apply it to my inner corners just like blend it upwards and then I'm applying it to the tip of my nose my nose bridge and also my brow bone and that is basically it for this makeup look